Well, let's start with a prayer again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's ask our Blessed Mother's intercession for our world, for our parish community, and our local people. As we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray, pray for, for us. us. I'm Father Bill Brennan. Uh, I just want to keep everyone up to date on what's happening here at the church and the parish. And the biggest information, the biggest news that's come out lately is, of course, that there is a stay home, stay at home order for Tuesday, March 24th. And Tuesday, March 24th, at that time, uh, there's to be no entrance in the church building. So what that means is that Monday, March 23rd, will be our last time to have the church doors open. So from uh, from 10 o'clock in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon, the church will remain open on Monday. And then it will be, the doors will be closed and kept closed until further notice. In the meantime, though, I want to make sure that we communicate. This is going to make it a little more challenging to continue our communications. So one of the things that I've already started to do is send out um, email blasts. And so if you have your email on our, on our database, you'll be receiving periodic updates on our email. The other thing is, of course, is through our homepage here at queenoftheholyrosary.org, www.queenoftheholyrosary.org. And basically, uh, on our homepage, you can get these video updates and I'll be sending more information. Also, prayer suggestions will be some more video updates on homilies and even daily masses and so just pay attention to that and if you're a smartphone user once again i want to encourage you to use our parish app and how to download that onto your smartphone is to go to our home page at uh, queen of the holy Ro rosary .org. And now some questions that people are having then is what if there's an emergency um you know when there's some really critical emergencies uh, what can we do and will Father Bill be available to give the, the sacraments, especially if there's the last rites that need to be done? The answer is yes. You know, one of the things I've made sure is I've got lots of gloves. I even have my mask. So if I need to get out there and some family has an emergency and it's life or death, I will be there. You call. And you call the parish number at 913-432-4616, 913-432-4616. It hit extension 8. Extension 8 will send you right to our call service. There's always a person to answer that, and they will call me directly and get in contact with me, and then uh, we'll assess the situation. I'll be calling you directly back. Now, one of the things that we've also asked is how do we stay connected with the parish? Well, I've got an amazing group of volunteers. My Stephen ministers, they have agreed to call every single person that's in our parish directory. And so in our 2020 directory, each of our volunteers has taken one or two pages of that phone list and just calling each and every person. And one of the things they're gonna ask is, they're first of all, gonna check on your well-being. Are you doing okay? Uh, how's your family doing? They'll also inquire if you have any special physical needs, if there's anything we can do to respond to help They'll also ask you for your prayer intentions. And these prayer intentions, I will they will send them to me. They will bolt them together and they'll send them to me. And in my private mass, I will be offering those intentions specifically. In fact, just today I received a whole list of some of the prayer intentions from some of our Stephen ministers. And I will pray this at mass tonight and during my homily time and pray specifically for each and every one of you. And then um, they, they'll also do periodic checking in on, on uh, people that have special needs or other things will communicate to me if there's anything that we need to do specifically for you to help minister to you. Now there's some frequently asked questions that they're receiving too. And one of the frequency, frequently asked questions is, what about confessions? If the church is closed, then yeah, that means uh, we're closing down our confessions for a while. And I cannot hear confessions over the phone. The only exception would be like if you're in the hospital and behind the glass and, and you're in the quarantine area and I call you on the phone, I look through the glass to see you and that's how we can do confessions. But it cannot be done in ministry, it has to be done in person. There's that personal quality and stuff. So 
right now. If there's an emergency, you let me know and we'll work something out. But in the meantime, uh, this will suspend our confessions for now. Um, so what can we do then? Once again, are you praying the rosary? Where is my rosary? Here it is. Just yesterday I walked by Don Bosco. I prayed three of them. I prayed three different rosaries. And, you know, there's things that you could do with the, the Word Among Us back home. Many of you picked that up. Just keep doing our daily Mass readings and reflections there. And if you don't have that, go on our website again, the homepage, and click the tab that says Daily Mass Readings. And then one other thing I thought you could do is you're going to have a lot more family time. Um, if you're spending more time with your family, it's important to pray together as a family. A natural time to pray is our meal time. A real simple thing to do before we just go into, bless us, O Lord, and these, I guess, which we're about to receive. Pause a little bit. Go around the table and tell your family members one thing, one blessing you received today. Not something from the past, but today. It's important to continue to see God's blessings today. Like today, I just noticed my little peach tree started to blossom, even in this cold, in this cold weather. There's beauty out there. There's little things to be grateful for. There's, I'm grateful for my parishioners. I'm grateful for the Stephen ministers, the volunteers, the many prayers that you're sending me that I'm sending you. So do gratitude prayers. Ask your families to pray with you and name one thing you're grateful for and then say your blessing at the, at the meal. There's also, if you go on our website, you can click my Sunday homily. I'll be posting a regular Sunday homily. And so you can click that and listen to my Sunday homily and continue to pray that I preach well. And then, um, and then you can watch EWTN and other uh, channels that are out there that have the Mass. And there's a lot of other opportunities like Word, uh, Word on Fire as a website that you can go on for Father Bob Barron, or Bishop Barron, I should say. And remember the School of Faith Rosary is a wonderful reflection of your family. If you go to schooloffaith.com and you can do their, and click the daily rosary, that's another wonderful site. So in the meantime, we'll continue to update you periodically. We'll keep praying with you. Uh, we'll maintain what I like to call is not social distancing, but we call physical distancing. Because really social distancing says we're not going to communicate together. But I really think this is more of a time of physical distancing, but it doesn't have to be social or emotional or spiritual distancing. Well, I see this as a time that we can actually socially connect, spiritually connect. We can connect as family and friends as a parish. And so let's use all the tools available. We use the tool of the internet. We use the tool of our Facebook. We use our tools of uh, emails. And so let's pay attention and keep up to date. And if there's any emergency, don't hesitate to call. I'll be there with the sacraments. Until then, may God bless you and keep you. May his face smile upon you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.